Oh, that's weird. Did you guys just see that? Who is running across? Bro, the ghosts are having a rave? Wait, is that a person on top of that car? <laughs> Yo, what? All right, should we watch uh, Scary Comp V84? The scariest one, I think. Hmm. What do y'all think, huh? Scary Comp V84? Y'all want to go for this one? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Scary Comp V84. Now, this next video was submitted to me by Christian Breen, who just received a strange video from a friend. The friend in question is known as Amanda, and according to Christian, Amanda specializes in talking to the dead. It seems that she's what? been doing this for a while, so much so that she considers herself as a full-on medium. Given her ability to contact and see the dead, she occasionally gets distracted by things or people that don't appear to be there. In one instance, Amanda was doing a live stream with two friends, okay. when all of a sudden, oh, a something from the corner of the room catches her attention. She like Afterwards, me. things get pretty strange. Watch. Go, 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 go! Again? He drank all of it. Yeah. You good? Like 10 minutes this went on. And I'm like, oh my god, could you stop? Oh, you're looking at your cat. No, somebody just walked through my kitchen and Bobby freaked out. Is it just me or does this <laughs> act, is, is she acting like she's on something? And uh, somebody literally just f walked through my house and just walked through the kitchen. And like, I don't know who they are. <laughs> And why does she look so happy? Why does she look so happy that some random person just walked through her house? Did you see him run? <laughs> Did you see him run? Guys, I'm gonna die! Oh my god! Uh, yeah. He's he's still sitting there looking at it. Yeah, so why don't you... I don't know. I'm Figure like, out what's you know, going on! Yeah, switching. I saw his tail. I'll move. Is the person still there? Bobby, you okay? I don't know. It still like feels really weird in here, but I only saw that like for a second. That's also the same direction that when you said that there were. Oh my God! It's Brendan. He's outside now. Thank oh. God, <laughs> Brendan. No, he's not. He saw a man. No, he's not. No, he's not. There is literally. Wait, how'd your door just open? Amanda! Oh my god, Amanda, you're gonna die! Chat, what does she think she's doing, bro? Her door opening up all creepy like that? And she's smiling about it the whole time? I... No one's out there. You're lying. How did her door no, just open? No, I'm not. She sounds like an Amanda. Is he messing with you? No. Uh, bro, oh, her, your mom or something bro her two friends are like uh if this is real amanda like you might want to like i don't know call 911 or something yeah i think i'm gonna text someone i told him to come down here i i literally live in the middle of nowhere you guys saw my door open yes that was the craziest thing i've ever seen Initially thinking that Brendan, her husband, was messing around with her, she proceeds to open the door. But like something out of a horror movie, she finds no one there. It is at this point when Amanda instinctually shuts and locks the door. Now it seems that Amanda already felt something wasn't right after seeing her cat act strange. Eventually, she came to fully realize this after seeing no one outside her door. It's as though What's she up? felt a dangerous Break. or threatening presence. Now not much she else is known about what happened okay. afterward. But until further info is provided by Christian, who thankfully sent this video, it remains a mystery as to what exactly happened that night. What's the main story of this vid? Nobody knows. Number nine. In this next video, a woman is recording her neighbor's house after noticing something very alarming. It appeared that something strange was going on inside her neighbor's garage. Now the reason as to why this was unusual was because the neighbor was out of town. They were on vacation far from home. But strangely, the lights inside the garage had turned on. The woman who took this video was passing by when she noticed this. 
But as she continued to watch, something happened that chilled her to the core. Chilled her to Take the core? No, don't say. It's her light bulbs going out, guys. Okay, that's actually light flickering, but. <laughs> It's probably just the squatter living in, in the garage, you know? Oh, that's weird! Did you guys just see that? Who is running across? Bro, the ghosts are having a rave? In the garage? That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck is going on? Oh, no, bro, he's staring. After watching closely to see what was going on, no, this that's happens. Weird. A figure dashes back and forth in a seemingly frantic manner. It does this the for more than a few seconds before suddenly stopping and looking out the garage window. It's as if it was watching the woman who was filming this. No, that's it. If the woman's neighbor was away from home, then who or what was this? As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Number On December 2nd of 2021, at around 9 p.m., affiliates of a Christian church were looking at live footage of something very peculiar that was happening outside their chapel. They were looking at the security camera's live feed to see if anyone appeared on camera, as it was just then that the intruder alarm had gone off. They knew that someone had to be there, given that their alarm system had never felt them. But minutes pass, and no one appears. They continue to watch, hoping to see the intruder emerge from their hiding spot. But instead, what they saw was something totally unforeseen. Take a look. Oh, who's that? What the frick? No, that... Bro, it's just a little person. It's a ghost little person. In utter disbelief, the church members watch closely as one of the side doors opens on its own. It opens ever so slowly Look. and remains open as if the door was being held. But strangest of all is little, what ensues. Short a strange cave. translucent figure passes through, entering inside the church. The door continues to remain open before immediately closing after the figure exits. Bro, it the looks church like... personnel no doubt believe that something otherworldly had it taken place. Looks like place. a bunch of babies running back no and forth. There's no answer on what was seen. They still believe that a spirit or something similar had paid them all a visit. Number seven. In the following video, a large crowd of onlookers are standing on a bridge, looking at something that's beneath them. The person recording this doesn't exactly show what's being seen by others. But based on the facial expressions of those around him, one can assume that something pretty horrific is being witnessed. Yeah, it looked like her McDonald's. Now the man just got behind the camera the commentates on what's being seen, but his voice trembles as he talks. It seems that something about this scene is deeply disturbing for him. After giving a vague and somewhat confusing description of this mysterious event, the video cuts to black. But fast forward to only a few weeks later, and surveillance footage of this mysterious incident is posted online, showing the reason as to why people had gathered on this bridge. Take a look. Sensor duty to you. Oh, did somebody accidentally drive off the side? Bro, I hope not, bro. Bro, I hope not. As it not. turns out, a car accident had taken place, or unfortunately, the driver's life was taken upon impact. However, there's something else about this footage that many people can't stop talking about. It seems that something just as unsettling was captured. Only a few seconds after the accident, this is caught. That's crazy, bro. That's sad. Wait, is that a person on top of that car? What?
Why does that look like that motherfucker from the Polar Express? You know, After the guy looking who sits closely, on top of the train? a dark, shadow like figure can be seen standing on a truck's bed. Nah, that's Although just it's hard the to tell Polar as to who or even guy. what this might have been, viewers have noted that it seems to be overlooking the wreckage from the car crash. This, along with its physical appearance, have led many to believe that this may have been the Grim Reaper caught on camera. The Grim Reaper caught thing? on camera? Alright, bro. Give me a break, bro. Give me a break. Video, it's no wonder why the person recording the previous footage felt very unsettled. The bridge itself has a history of claiming the lives of many drivers, which is why it's been dubbed the Death Curve. The Seeing death the wreckage curve? below and knowing about this eerie footage has naturally made those who know about this place feel spooked. But of course, whether paranormal or not, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Was Death himself present at the site of this unfortunate accident? Or was something else caught on camera? That is kind of weird. Like, why is somebody just sitting on top of that truck like that? Like, that's actually mad weird. This next video was posted by a woman named Lorley Gons, who states that something very strange was captured in a video that was taken many years ago. The girl in this clip is Lorley's cousin-in-law's daughter, who was about 10 years old when she took this video. According to Lorley, she was filming herself in her bedroom when something pretty spooky happened. The video starts off with the young girl playing with her toys, okay. doing a show and tell of a kitchen playset she was recently given. She gonna show me forks? Now as the young girl states, this video is for her YouTube channel, which according to Lorley, is solely based on pretend play videos and toy reviews. What was meant to be an innocent pretend play video turned out to be something completely different. Take a look. You have a nice little knife. Pues Great. Tengo esto que es como para you think it's pedo? for cutting pizza? It's sí. not for cutting pizza! Esto. A spoon? Una cuchilla. Sharp knife. That knife is not sharp at all. Girl, you would have cut your hand if it was sharp. Get real. Dos tenedores así. Two of these forks. Una rosita, igual que el Pink cuchillo one. mostré al yeah. principio. No sé si lo mostré al principio. Y este tenedor. Yeah, but it's a yellow fork. Well, we know she's not colorblind. Perdón, se me está cayendo todo. Eh, dos cuchillos amarillos iguales. Two yellow knives, they're identical. Yup, very good, little one. This an ASMR video? Okay. Las tacitas. My Tengo cubs. Esta tacita, rosita. Y esta tacita. <laughs> Yo, what? Eh, nah, bro, that's it, bro. I'm punching that. I would beat the four. I would... <laughs> I would punch that little... That little doll right there all the way to freaking, like, China. That sucker just moved. That sucker just moved. Unprovoked, chat. There ain't wind in there. There's not anything that would have made that move. Now that's assault. It's a doll, chat. You're telling me you wouldn't hit that doll? Huevo. Egg. Si. Yep, that's an egg. Okay, do you not see your little possessed friend right there? You gotta put that motherfucker down, bro. <laughs> this is one of those moments where I become that motherfucker Sid from Toy Story, and that baby's head is coming clean off. I'm dismembering the whole freaking thing and tossing it out. Absolutely not. Rewind time? You trying to see that again? Really? It is the most replay. Dos cuchillos amarillos iguales. Here we go. Chat, I'm not for burning esta anything tacita, or anyone, tacita, but that doll needs to be burned. Esta tacita, like, that's horrifying. Los, eh, Throw it away. Throw the whole thing away. And the receipt. ¿Sí? That's crazy. Look at her. She can't even believe it. <laughs> Toy Story is real. It's gotta be, right? It was the wind. Chat, that was not the wind. That was not the wind. <laughs> She's gonna be in therapy for the rest of her life. She's literally gonna be in therapy. <laughs> it was promptly after noticing the doll's arm lifting on its own that the girl pauses, turns around, and bolts out in a panic frenzy. Even before this, it appeared that she had already sensed something strange was happening. As if seeing one of her toys suddenly fall by itself wasn't already enough to make her feel unsettled, this happens. 
Now currently, the girl in this video is 14 years old, but despite how old this video is, it continues Wait, to- Wait! Did he just say she's 14?! No, he did not! Did, did he mean to say 4? Did he mean to say 4? He did not just say she's 14, let me rehear that. Currently, the girl in this video is 14 years old, but- 14?! She's not 14! She's maybe six or seven. Maybe he meant to say four and he read it wrong. He said she was 10. He means that she's 14 now. Oh, okay, okay. So she was 10 in this. This video is 14 years old. Maybe he meant that. <laughs> but despite how old this video is, it continues to haunt her to this day. Just like Lorley and others who've seen this clip, they have no idea as to how the doll seemingly moved on its own. Look at how she, bro, she just got scarred for life seeing that. She does look like she could maybe be 10. I guess, it's I guess late I in the afternoon Maybe. when a person lying on a gurney records themselves out of boredom. The video begins with not much happening in the beginning, but it's what happens only seconds later that's terrifying. Now very little context is given on this clip, but one can see what's going on. As the person records themselves and their surroundings, they capture this. I didn't see nothing. For almost less than two seconds, the person recording captures what seems to be someone what? or something standing in the corner of the room. Its sudden appearance is made even more creepy by the way it looks. Viewers have noted that it looks extremely thin and palish. But things become even more unsettling after seeing that the space where the figure was seen is now empty. Feeling immensely terrified, the woman behind the camera ends the video. Very little context is given on this footage, but with or without it, the clip is still quite creepy. At around 2 in the morning, a man named Daniel Palomino was walking alone inside a plaza when something completely unexpected happened. It was actually during a live stream when Daniel recorded this. Now this is something that he often does during his free time. During late at night, Daniel walks alone while simultaneously live streaming on his phone. However, what happened on We're the night of September 28th of 2023 has scared him to his core. Like any other night, Daniel was live streaming to an audience who were suggesting places he should visit during his walk. One place that was recommended was an old plaza that's believed to be haunted. Although hesitant at first, Daniel heads over to the plaza after realizing how close he was to the place. But this was a big mistake. Uh -oh. After exploring the strip mall for more than a few minutes, things started getting weird. What does he mean by that? Me sale ese efecto. Gente, huele quemado. It smells burnt? Does it? Gente, huele a quemado, huele a quemado, no sé si... Aren't you at like a little strip mall? Isn't there like food there and stuff or no? Strangely, Daniel begins to smell a burning scent coming from somewhere in the plaza. He tries to find the source yeah, the of the smell, court. but gives up before suddenly the scent goes away. Although pretty strange, this occurrence becomes a whole lot creepy after one of his viewers on his live stream tells him this. No, me digan. Dicen, dicen la leyenda que hay niños que juegan Children hasta tarde en la red. En el casino Garden que está bajo hubo un incendio y murieron personas. No, no, no te. That's weird. According to the viewer, there used to be an old casino inside the plaza that caught fire and took many people's lives. Dang. Hearing about this left Daniel totally freaked. He just smelled a burning scent and thinks this might have been somehow connected to the oh, fire incident no. that occurred years ago. Feeling spooked, Daniel immediately starts to head out. But on his way out, something in the distance makes him stop in his tracks. And what's this that? is what he saw. Wait, what is this? Bro, Jeez. what's up with all the little people in this one? Bro, that little thing is like about eight inches tall, bro. So tiny, bro. Eight inches is so tiny. What do you mean by that? It's crazy. Uh, maybe it's nine. Maybe it's nine inches. Probably not. Probably eight. Wait, me acerco, me acerco. 
Ni cagando, voy a grabar algo, güey. No, but for real, what is that little thing, bro? That thing can't be real. Camina, güey, boom. Está que camina, está que camina. Not sure as to what he was seeing, Daniel starts to back away. According to him, whatever this was, it started moving towards him. Now the video's quality makes it hard to see. Dude, that motherfucker Dan down there looks like some character out of like a video game. Like, you know, like a, just some animated character. Skinny arms, little round body. Bro's probably 150 years old and... <laughs> it's a cat? Probably is. He swears that something small was approaching him. He further adds that whatever this was had a stature smaller than a child's. It was immediately Bro, soon that's after a stature that smaller than any human. You could be a newborn baby and that sucker still looked bigger than a newborn baby. He turns around and finds another I, I exit. Mean, he looks smaller than a newborn. Did I say bigger? Yep. Looks smaller than a newborn baby. But asked if Daniel wasn't already spooked enough, he sees this. Frozen potato? That's what it looks like. It literally looks like a walking potato. That's a... That's a good explanation for it. Bro, don't be turning the corners all quick like that. It's really dark here. Yeah, and I feel like you're gonna jump scare me. Don't do that. Gente. ¿Qué pasó? Gente. Se apagó todo. Se apagó. Who is that? Satan? No, that's crazy. Now I'm out, bro. If I see what something like that, I'm out. What appears to be a plush out. toy is mysteriously placed on the staircase. That's Yet, a plush toy. It toys? was at this moment when Daniel realized that the toy might have actually been the small figure. Oh, I didn't even see that plush toy. All I saw was the dude in the black hoodie. But the plush toy, that makes sense. That's probably what it was that was moving towards him. He'd seen earlier. Not sure how to explain this, he continues to walk away. But then, out of nowhere, a dark figure with a pelt. Bro, really said. I'm here. A face is seen standing near the doll. Viewers of the live stream were just as freaked as Daniel. Just who, or even what, was this? And what was the doll that was apparently seen earlier doing there? Daniel has yet to give any updates on the events of that night. From the mysterious burning smell to the creepy looking figure, there has yet to be an explanation on what was captured. Number three. October 15 of 2023. An anonymous oh, individual they are not posted about a video to do a two girls dance. dancing in front of a camera. They are not about to do Judging a on the quality dance, of the Chad. footage, it appears what that this they? video was taken more than a couple years ago. But despite the subpar quality, the clip is nonetheless... Charlie D'Amelio generation ass. What is going on, bro? ...pretty creepy. Now, the person who posted this states that the two girls were practicing for a dance competition. They wanted to see if their choreographed dance looked good from someone else's point of view. But little did they know that this literal viewpoint would capture something creepy. Be sure to look closely as what was captured happens real fast. That's not Charlie D'Amelio? This D is what was caught. So it's Addison Ray. That's Charlie and Addison, right? What kind of a dance is this, bro? You guys think that's me? You think this is me? I would do something like this. So I guess. What kind of a dance is this? In the background, a dark humanoid figure can be seen staring oh, past the, the person who shared this says both girls hadn't noticed anything strange in the clip until viewers pointed out the mysterious silhouette. Naturally, they were left shaken up. Now, like most videos, very little information is given on this clip, That's making crazy. it hard to come up with an answer on what was captured. Out of all paranormal videos, it's usually those which involve children that tend to be the creepiest. Whether it's a child who's staring at something that doesn't appear to be there, or describing a supposed friend who can't be seen, this next video is just as creepy as any of those instances. In the following video, a grandmother is looking after her two-year-old granddaughter when things get strange. The granddaughter is playing on the couch when suddenly her attention gets drawn to something in the dining room. You're so funny. I can't wait until summer gets here so we can go outside and play. I miss Mimi. I miss you too. I miss you too. Uh, oh, what? Coming. What? Who's coming? Who? Who's him? You see somebody back there? Him. Who? Him. Him? Yeah. Where's he at? Is he in our house? Yeah. Where? Show me. Where's he at? He's right in front of you? Yep. Yeah. Who is it? A guy. Who's there, mister?
sister. What are you doing in our, where's he at, in the dining room? Yeah. Show me him. Go show me him. Give me your hand. Take me to him. This him. Take me to him. Show me. The two-year-old goes on to tell her grandma where this invisible man is located. What? But it's what she says next that disturbs her grandma. Wait, wait let me, show me, is he right here? Yeah. He's in our dining room? Yeah. What are you doing in our dining room, mister? What does he look like? Uh, I bug. He's got bug. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like? A bug. Well, she just seen a cockroach. Hi, guys. Yeah. What are you doing in our living room, mister? Get. Get. You go, you go back home. You go back wherever you came from. That's just an imaginary, what yeah, it's an imaginary friend chat. Come on, chat. you're creeping me out. We're going upstairs. Oh. Come on. Grandma ain't having you're that. Me. We're going upstairs. Yeah, you're scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, okay, Grandma, damn, said it to her three times. As described by the two-year-old, this mysterious man has bug eyes. It seems that this description alone was enough to freak <laughs> out the grandma to the point where she had to leave the space. Grandma said, her no, granddaughter we're out. was convinced that someone was there. Even on camera, she appears to be visibly frightened by the so-called man who was apparently close. Now, even if this was just the case of a two-year-old acting randomly, her description of the man is frightening on its own. While some believe the bug eyes are indicative of a malicious entity, others think that something else was present. But of course, like all videos, the verdict is yours to make. Number one! In this last video, a young girl is recording herself using her cell phone. All appears to be normal, as it looks like nothing unusual is happening, or at least that's how it seems. As the video plays out, something happens in the background that quickly turns this video into something else. This is what was caught. What? How am I supposed to know what's going on, bro? The whole Behind entire screen is girl, weird. A rapid, shadowy figure passes by for just a split second. Slowing the footage, you can somewhat make out the shape of this dark anomaly. Some Ugh. have stated that it seems to be standing upright while running fast, which makes whatever this was even more creepy. But whether supernatural or not, the video is a total mystery. The footage was sent to me by a viewer who has no idea where the clip initially came from. So, without knowing the origin of the vid, I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusions on this footage. How is this number one? How is that number one? That was a terrible number one. We can't even see but just this tiny little itty bitty portion of the screen. Does anyone else watch these at night and they get paranoid? Nope! I watch them during the day. All right, guys, I love y'all. Your boy did, does need to hop off. But follow the main and gaming YouTube. Follow the vlog. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Allow for all so you never miss out. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Make sure to turn on post notifications here on Twitch. Make sure to turn on post notifications on my YouTube. If you're bored right now, bro, go watch the YouTubes, bro.